Shalom, shalom. Start off this lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakadash, Baba Oz, to all those apostles of great millstone, push out the 100% truth and truth and sincerity, and shalom to the whole four legs scattered across the four winds. But willing this lesson be edifying, you know? And um, this is just a vision slash dream that I had, you know, this morning. Um, it was me and a brother, Kalaya, you know, and we was in, I guess you could say we was in Egypt. And it was, it was people, and um, basically, you know, I'm speaking. I'm like, you see these pyramids? You see the Sphinx? I said, we built that, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we built that, man. It's basically like I was prophesying over there. And um, afterwards, the dream, like, you know, I got taken somewhere else. But the brother, there was a camera on the back of the pyramid, I guess you could say. And, Good morning. There was a camera on the back of the pyramid. And, you know, the brother said, after Esau, you know. And um, afterwards, it took me somewhere else, you know. I was in, like, a portable, like a high school portable, I guess you could say. And there was, like, tables and there was food. You know, people were sitting down and stuff. And, um... The brother Ramak was there, and our cap lawyer was there, you know, from the Miami camp. And, um, you know, there was other people there, like some people that I probably went to high school with. I, I recognized some faces, and some faces I didn't know. I was sitting in the portable, you know, everybody eating food. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking for something for me to eat, you know? And I'm going around looking at the plates. Somebody, it's like plates with shrimp on it, just abominable, abominable foods, you know? I was like fuck, you know. Then I finally, I finally came across a plate, you know. I didn't have no bomb no foods, but I was like, I, I really wanted a sandwich, you know. And uh, I finally come, I sit down by a cab, and um, uh, well, on the floor by him, and uh, he's like, I know you was looking for this here, and he gave me, he gave me the sandwich that I wanted. Boom. So next thing you know, I'm sitting down on the floor by the portable, and it's a window. Right. And as I looked through the window, seeing a, 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 a military a military helicopter that was blue, I seen I seen a the a Avenger helicopter for like the military style. I seen that. I seen a cargo dive. I seen armored police truck. All those things. Like me looking through the window, you know. Immediately, what came to my head was Revelation twelve twelve. You know, devil coming down with a great wrath because you know if you have but a short time. I'm just paraphrasing. You know. I knew, I knew, I, I knew it was that, you know? I'm seeing that, in a dream I got a little scared. Or you know, I was sitting down since that time. I was kind of like tapping my leg. I'm like, it's that time, it's that time, it's that time, it's that time. I kept repeatedly saying it to myself, it's that time, it's that time, right? And then after that, um, I felt like I was the only one I noticed. I don't think anybody noticed. And then some swole Jake dude, and like some church clothes, you know? came in and you know the camp the camp have the camp chain you know the medallion the, the camp chain you know but dude what he had on his on him was like something completely different like it was like some demonic shit you know it was like it was like a demon bro he had a demon on his chain it was silver it had like horns and like just a demonic face you know and then he, 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 he came and he was standing for everybody. Everybody looking at him. He's like, oh, here's a Hebrew Israelite. Right? And then I'm like, you feel me? We all looked around the room. Nobody, nobody answered it, raised their hand or answered his question. And then he was like, you know, who believes Yahweh is God? Yahweh Shai is his son. Who believes in Yahweh Shai? Right? Mind you, I'm looking at my camp, my camp leaders to see, like, what they're going to do. I'm moving off, off of what they do, you know? And um, some random Jake raised his hand. Another random Jake raised his hand. And the brother Ramak, he raised his hand. And our cap lawyer, he raised his hand. So I raised my hand too, you know? And um, he tells us, you know, get out the portable. You know, but I gotta, you know, before I say that, bro, the man's chain, like, I'm still on that. Like, his chain was demonic, bro. You know, it was like, that was like some, it looked like some ancient, some ancient chain or something, like a silver chain. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I, I found a couple pictures, Lord willing, you know, towards the end of the video, I could put them. But it was like a demonic ass chain. And, um, you know, told us to step out the portable. So then we stepped out the portable, you know. Brother Ramak, I don't know where he went. 
My brother disappeared. <laughs> the Lord probably has something else for him to do. But it was me and the cat, you know, we, we standing out, we standing outside the portable, you know. Mind you, we just seen all those military police cars and all that stuff zoom past and go land by the other side, you know. So Cap looked at me, I look at him, and we started running, you know. And there was a gate, there was a gate in front of us. And you know, you know how in the movies when they jump the gate, like kind of cool, you know. They jump, we jumped the gate and started running. Start running, start running, start running, start running. All right, and now we're in some area with like trees, like it was like the woods, you could say. And um, we're running through the woods. Next thing you know, those people sent two dogs after us. So it was two dogs chasing us, right? Me and Cap is running, we running, right? Next thing you know, I turn around and I, I open like my, I open my hand. You know how you get somebody a high five? I turn around, I open my hand. And it's like I shot like some, some goldish, well, I guess you could say gold because it, it was yellow orange, like a yellow orange spear came out of my hand, like a circle thing, you know? And I shot it. I shot it like at the dogs. The dog, one dog flew all the way to the left. The other dog flew all the way to the right, you know? And um, me and Cap, we're running, we're running, we're running, we're running, we're running to, where, to the point where we make it to the city, you know? I stop and I'm like, I'm like, damn, you know, I can't go back home. Cause if I go back home, they gonna know, you know? And I, I'm, I'm debating on myself, like, where am I gonna go? And then I see Cap, my Cap, the way that he was running, bro. Hey, I would you would've thought he was a flash or something, man. He was running fast, but he was chasing somebody, you know? I don't know who he was chasing, but he was chasing somebody. And, um, you know, throughout the dream, you know, some dreams, when you have dreams, you know, some stuff, you know, some stuff, you, it's just weird. Like, you know, how you running in your dreams, sometimes you may run slow and stuff. But it's like, this dream, it's like I had all my senses, you know? I was alert. Like, when the, when the, when the troops, you know, bomb rushed us, you know, all those cars and everything, like, I, I felt my heartbeat. Like, I was a little bit scared, you know? Because I got caught off guard in my head. I'm like, damn, they caught us slipping. You know, but the Lord made a way. You know, for us to just, you know, yo, get out of there, you know? And um, Cap was chasing somebody. I was there trying to decide where I'm going to go. And I woke up, you know? But uh, one scripture that, that came to my mind, you know, roughly paraphrasing, you know, if you de deny me in front of men, I'm going to deny you in front of the Father, you know? Because he said, who, who, who was there as a Hebrew Israelite? You know, we didn't say nothing. And then he was like, who believes Yahweh is God and Yahweh Shai is his son? Who believes in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? That's when we raised our hands, you know? And that's what came to my mind. But yeah, you know, that, that was a dream. Well, I guess it was a vision. It felt more like a vision. I don't know. But with that being said, I just want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kakadash. Double honors to all those apostles of Great Millstone, pushing out the 100% truth and truth and sincerity. And shalom to the whole for less scattered across the four winds. But one of this is edifying. Until the next, shalom.